Good morning. Well, it's Saturday, heading into work. I'm actually sitting out in the parking lot. There's a couple of cars that are out, but uh, otherwise, heading into work. Got to get some stuff done. Um, I've uh, <clears throat> done some experimentation with making some LUTs. It's actually shockingly easy and uh, quite a bit uh, better than then uh, I can exert quite a bit more control. Let me rephrase that. I can exert quite a bit more control over the image than uh, I originally anticipated. So that I'm uh, a lot of having a lot of fun with that. Um, Lumetri's LUT format is very simple. It's essentially floating point. So that's kind of cool. Um, I've uh, come up with a way to get decent exposure here in the car. I expose for me, and a lot of stuff gets blown out outside of the car. But if I record in log, um, that, you know, doing just a straight delogging using Canon's LUT does blow those highlights out. But I can apply a pre LUT that rolls the highlights off back into the normal uh, range, and uh, that allows me to retain a lot of the highlights so that's what I've done um, today's vlog the one that you'll or yesterday's vlog I should say um, I have and, and even in this one today even though there's not as much dynamic range because it's totally overcast and raining um, I'll be rolling off those highlights uh, using the uh, fix-up light that rolls those off like film it looks very pleasant it's very good and I still get regular exposure so I expose just like I would for here in the car where I would be normally exposed and then I roll those highlights off and it makes for a very pleasant looking um, uh, background where I'm not completely blowing out the uh, the highlights so pretty cool I'm definitely a lot happier using this camera than even the DSLR I can exert way more control over the image and this has significantly more dynamic range than uh, the T3i, and I'm sure it has easily as much, if not more dynamic range, than even a 7D Mark II would have. So it still has some gotchas, but uh, I like this. This is very quickly becoming my new favorite camera. So, and that, and it's small and light, and takes nice stills, 12 megapixel stills, which is even better. So, at any rate, uh, got to go into work. Heading home, uh, got to run some errands, and then uh, should have a quiet evening the rest of the evening. Hello. Going to Target. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hey, 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 guys. Where's Kyle? He ran away. Kyle, come over here. Is that Minecraft stuff? Yep. What I really want is a Minecraft jacket. That looks like a creeper. That the hood yeah. actually zips up all the way. Mm. And you can like see through the hood, so yeah. I really want it. What's it? Alright, look at that. Do you want to pose? There you go.
sure this dog is fake. You're pretty sure that dog is fake? Yeah, target done. Our cashier was a little on the nutty side. Yeah. Yeah. A little nutty. Yeah. A little nutty. Yeah. All right, you want to go to Sprouts, right? Yeah. All right, Sprouts it is. Yeah. No. Construction of my dynamic rings test chart is almost complete. Uh, I've got along here on the bottom side of this holes drilled. You can kind of see the holes drilled. Um, and then each one of these layers is one stop of ND. And there's 17 holes and 17 stops of ND down here on the very end. There's 17 layers of ND filter and one layer of ND filter here. I actually don't think I have enough light to drive all that, but uh, I won't know until I actually try it. But uh, I've got some white stuff here. I'm gonna fill in the back side of this, and then this goes on the, uh, the front of my uh, big soft box. That'll do it for tonight. Uh, I got my dynamic range test chart done. As you can see here, um, I got some test footage shot with the test chart. It's uh, 17 stops of dynamic range. Each of those holes that you see there is uh, a hole 17, is, is a one stop between each hole. So uh, it'll be interesting to see be interesting to see what comes of it.